Whatever kind of business you are into, ultimately, there is only one business, that is, human well-being. The Indian yogi Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev, who is also a visionary, humanitarian, and a mystic, possesses a level of clarity of vision that not many people have. He is well known for expressing views on a wide range of topics, one of which is business. He consults with some of the world's leading business owners, sharing his insights into the mental processes of the wealthy and successful. Do you want to know his top 5 secrets? Well, keep watching. Number 1. You need intelligence, not just information. People often confuse knowledge with information. Intelligence, in addition to information, is necessary for anyone who wishes to successfully navigate any scenario. This includes entrepreneurs. Intelligence is what will allow you to successfully navigate through a given scenario in a way that works for you. While information may be useful in the background or as a side benefit, intelligence, common sense, is key. The mental processing of raw material information is what can be considered as intelligence. Data and information are not the same thing as intelligence, although intelligence can be derived in part from information. And the two concepts share many of the same characteristics. Intelligence is actually the result of information that has been evaluated, combined, and synthesized to provide a full understanding of the information. An entrepreneur or anybody who wants to succeed in life needs intelligence, not just information. Number two, believe in the possible. Let's imagine you've decided to develop a home for yourself. You need money to build a house but you don't have enough of it. So you start thinking that it's impossible to do so. The instant you state something is impossible, you are simultaneously stating that you do not want it. On one level, you are expressing the desire you have for something, while on another level, you are stating that you do not desire it. The trouble with that is, your mind is constantly changing its path. It's as if you want to go somewhere, but every 10 yards, you end up going in a different direction because you constantly change your destination. You will never succeed with this conflict. It takes a unique kind of person to make an opportunity out of something that appears to be impossible. However, we won't know for sure if it's really impossible unless we try. Successful entrepreneurs undoubtedly believe this, which is a significant part of the reason why they are able to achieve such great levels of success. Number three, why do we always want more? It's only normal to wish for better circumstances and to aspire to greater heights than you've reached thus far. Each and every one of us is born with an innate desire for growth. If you desire to grow without bonds, Sadhguru would say this is possible. But trying to do it through force, by material possessions like more cars, a bigger house, and more valuables won't help. This insatiable hunger for more after experiencing success is intriguing. It is this drive that allows business owners to overcome obstacles create new solutions, and test the limits of an industry. Maybe it's human nature to desire more of that success high, and to test the limits of that. Wanting more is a selfish desire. We are all one. Think of the bubbles in a glass of soda. The bubbles form as individual spheres, each self-contained, individual and isolated from each other. But as they rise to the surface and burst, the gas becomes part of the air, part of the whole. While we think we're all individuals living our own existence, but we are in fact all part of the whole, living together in this world. Wanting more only to further our own wealth at the expense of others is selfish and wrong. However, it is a good thing to strive for more wealth if you have a strong desire to help others and give back. This way, everyone can benefit from your successes. Entrepreneurs contribute to a better world through stimulating economic growth generating new employment opportunities, and developing novel approaches that benefit society. To be a great entrepreneur, you need to be able to think creatively and come up with concepts that are truly groundbreaking. While many people are capable of coming up with novel concepts, the true test of an entrepreneur is in bringing that concept to life. An entrepreneur's attitude is distinct from any other because it requires a blend of traits that are difficult to find in the average person. The willingness to take risk and accept failure alongside a willingness to think creatively and communicate effectively. It's safe to state that there is no magic formula for making it big in the business world. 
However, there are some qualities that will greatly increase the chance of success for any ambitious entrepreneur. If you want to learn more wisdom from a Sadhguru, then keep watching. Number 4. Don't let money enter your head. If you place too much focus on how much money you have, it will corrupt your thinking and make you want to spend more than you should. If you have sufficient funds so you won't have to go to work tomorrow in order to make a living, you may simply take one month off and meditate instead of working. While it is not accurate to imply that everyone is chasing after money, but most of us are, the problem is that we have given money too much focus. Having financial security and achieving one's goals are two great aspirations of life. However, a problem develops when people are unable to suppress their boastfulness. Many people let money and success go to their heads, and as a result, they can become arrogant, insensitive, and rude. These types of people are unable to keep their feet firmly planted on the ground. On the other hand, there are some people who despite being wealthy and successful, are unpretentious and grounded, and they continue to treat others with care and respect despite their wealth and success. People like this are typically the ones who have achieved the most success and are able to maintain a very high quality of life. They don't let things like success and money go to their heads in any way. Again, things like success and wealth are only fleeting in this world. Depending on the course your life takes, at one point in time, they will be with you and then at another point in time, they will abandon you. As a result, we must not allow ourselves to be taken away by them or allow them to cause us to develop a false sense of superiority. Number 5. Direct your actions properly. It's also up to us to steer ourselves in the right direction. Do you spend all day scrolling through social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram? Or do you put in the effort to improve yourself? When you're among your loved ones and friends, do you pay attention to them or are you constantly on your phone? Do you volunteer your time to assist other people? Are you moving toward the accomplishment of your objectives in the appropriate manner? These activities can be challenging for each of us at certain points. But if you want to make your life better, you should make an effort to engage in them. Putting your thoughts down on paper will help you work through any problems that you might be having. It's possible that some days you won't feel like doing the necessary research or making the necessary phone calls, but you still need to take action. You need to keep in mind that in order to get where you want to be in one year from now, you need to start taking those small and consistent steps necessary to get there right now. It takes a lot of hard effort to build a successful business. Anyone who says it is not, then has either never begun one or is lying. As if that weren't enough, you'll also have to put in a lot of time and effort while making some major compromises. You'll need a strong stomach to keep your firm afloat through the many storms that try to sink you. Entrepreneurship is a terrific way to make a lot of money and a great way to learn and improve from the many mistakes you will make along the way. But it also requires a certain personality type to succeed. When it comes to starting a business, there is no one technique that is superior to another. Personalities and actions can be honed via exposure to new situations, practice, and time. The ability to seize chances and persevere in the face of adversity is a hallmark of the entrepreneurial spirit, which will serve you well along your path. If you want to learn more about having a wealthy mindset, click the videos on the screen. Thanks for watching.